Janine. Can you hear me? <laughs> trying to do two things at once. I'm trying to do Facebook and YouTube. So much of a challenge. You know, I, we just get comfortable with one thing. And then I'm like, I'm going to try to add one more. Let me see if it's there. Oh, I think it is. Well, you know, it's got the dang chair. Let me see. I don't know why it keeps showing the chair. And now it's opening 5,000 YouTube top tabs. Oh, look, I've got one. Hi, Mary. Hi, Karen. Now let me go um, switch back so my YouTube, my Facebook showing. Hopefully I don't um, mess up the YouTube when I let's see if I can do it both at the same time. It'll be my first time ever. So if I can get it going both times ever, it'll be a miracle if I can see both of your comments on both because I have YouTube on here and <laughs> Facebook over here. And for some reason, we noticed yesterday, if you watch all of us, that um, Susan and Tony and I, that um, Facebook has added um, captions. And I guess our Hoosier accent doesn't. Um... Hi, Linda. Oh, thank you. I like the something old, something new series. Oh, just knocked my, oh, I not only knocked my embossing gun off the table, it turned on. Last thing I need is some more heat in here. It's like 90 degrees. It's the hottest day of 2020 so far. Which, you know, at this point, you don't want to say that because you don't want to jinx anything that um, 2020 could possibly, like, what else could happen <laughs> in 2020? Every time you think that something... It couldn't be any weirder than it just gets a little weirder. So has everybody already placed an order? Let me see if I can get the comments up. Hi, Heather. Hi. Oh, good. Everybody can hear on both on both channels. Everybody can hear. That's like a miracle. I'm not going to be able to type comments on either of them because, you know, typing and talking and stamping. That's and having I have a, my computer's got the camera on it. Then I have a webcam. Then I have my phone. So those are three cameras that I have going on. And then I have Facebook comments here. And then I have um, YouTube comments down there. So, and then stamping in the catalog. So I can't type because <laughs> I think on YouTube, people often type their comments. I've never watched, I've never actually watched a YouTube live. But let's get going. How many people have already placed their order? Like I kept checking. I must have been on our website 50 times today. Like the very first thing I did when I woke up this morning was like, oh, maybe it's live. And I checked and you kept getting a, a maintenance message and it would say, sorry, we'll be back. We'll be back with you soon. Or sorry. I can't remember what it said. It just said, sorry. Um, and I was like, dang it. So, you know, after you check it 49 times, you're like, I wasn't expecting it to be ready. And my daughter is, she doesn't, she's a demonstrator, but she doesn't have as much disposable income as I do. Um, so I'm doing most, most of you might know that I'm doing a try it class. So for the try it class, like I need a lot of stuff, but I don't need all of this stuff right away. Like I need the stuff to design the cards, but I don't need all of the stuff to make the packets because I don't need all that tomorrow, but I do need all my stuff tomorrow. So I offered for her to give me some of her stuff that she wants tomorrow, but that she won't pay $50 in shipping to get. Um, so we did a trade. So she gave me $160 of her stuff. And then I gave her $160 of class supplies that will be here in a week or so because the class won't be ready by then anyways. So I had just finished the are swapping of orders. And I thought, well, I'll check. And so I checked and 
it went through and I could put an order in and I'm like, oh, I wasn't even ready. I would have gotten a drink. Like I would have done it differently if I'd known I was going to put an order in. But you don't stop because then you're afraid, well, maybe I'll get kicked off the website. But everything went really well. And then I had a couple of customer orders, put those in. And then I told everybody <laughs> that the website was up because I was afraid that if I lost my place. So my first order is in. So what I'm going to do for you now is we're going to look kind of at the catalog because, um, you know, it's always kind of a bummer that we get it and we can't show you. And, you know, some people get irritated that we hold it up because we're excited that we have it, but we are not allowed to show you the inside of it. Um, and I hardly even look at it much until I write my order down, which I did it on, what's today, Wednesday? I wrote it down on Monday, my order on Monday night. Um, because I don't like to look at the cards. I like the stuff that I make beforehand to kind of be mine. So if we haven't been to a Stampin' Up! event, which this time we didn't go to, um, <clears throat> then I haven't even really looked at it. So I kind of looked at it and I kind of wrote down some fun stuff, but I don't know where that paper is. It was, it's with my list stuff. So let's kind of look at it. And then as we go, I'm going to show you samples that I've made. Switch my stuff over. Yeah. Oh, is it getting hung up? Yeah, that's why I didn't um, stop because I was afraid that if I stopped, it would start getting lower. So one of my friends, she always has our catalogs bound for us. So as soon as stuff started opening up in Indiana and you could go into an office supply store, then she was there. So she gets it bound. I'll show you what she does. She, she has an industrial paper cutter because she does big classes. So then she cuts the binding off and then she has them do that. <coughs> and then she has this fun little pocket put in the back. So we can always stick our, our lists and our, like our other smaller catalogs back here, which later on this afternoon, right now I'm going to show you this catalog and I'm going to do two cards with dies. And then I'll take a little break and I'm going to come back later and show you the, um, I don't know if it's better to show you guys this upside down. Is it upside down or right side up? And I don't know if they're the same on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I'm going to show you the beginner brochure because this year there's some fun stuff in it. And this is going to be going on my next order. And I'm going to do two punch cards. So that'll be next. So that kind of stuff we can keep in that back pocket. So as you look through this year's catalog, I will show you one fun thing. If I can get back on to me, my shirt. She dreams in color. The card I'm going to do later, I've based on the colors in my shirt, which if you notice, because Stampin' Up's always on trend, as is Old Navy, um, we have some Just Jade and some Bumblebee, along with some Rococo Rose, which I'm not going to use, and some Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to use these three colors because I was inspired both by the shirt, because I like the shirt, um, and then by the colors. So as you look through, here's, let me switch back to the other camera. Um, here's our new in colors and then you will see the new machine, the new die cut machine, which you can't get yet, but that's okay because then it just gives you some more stuff to get now. And then you can, once you've got through that part of your list, then you can, I you see, um, I know I like having the spiral bounding too, except I've already ripped it because it started to fall off the table and I grabbed it by the page. So, you know, got a whole year to go and I've already ripped my first page. So then if you're a newer stamper, you can see here just some different methods of stamping. And it's nice when you can see the name of what it's called because it gives you something to kind of look up or to ask. And then um, this page here is just beautiful. It's got lots of our colors and you can kind of see how they work together, which one interesting thing this year, because we weren't able to order the in-color pads, which now I have um, until today, but we've always been able to get them right away. And so we just use them because we have them this year. They like we had designer series papers and ribbons and all that kind of stuff that had the colors in them. But you notice just how well our inks work, even if you don't have all the inks, because we didn't have them all. But they still worked like you could get everything to match because everything coordinates so well. Hi, Diana. Um, then this there's the kits are next up. And I like that they put the kits here first, especially if you are new to stamping because they're fabulous. They have, most of them have everything you need and there's all level of kits in this one. This one with a little lemon is featured a little bit bigger in our beginner brochure. 
but this one here is fabulously beautiful. So make sure you take a really good look at this posy one. You don't have to get the stamp set that goes with it, but if you do, it rec I mean, it has a recommended one and it has the colors. This one over here is a product medley, so it also comes with dyes. It's beautiful, super beautiful. And then as you go through the catalog, you'll notice that every section starts with a suite. So if you love something in a suite, they make it super easy for you. You can just order this number. So this is a super sweet. So this one's kind of more on the pricey side. Um, and I have done some stuff with it. So let me show you. And I'm going to, oh, actually, I'm going to come back to this one for part of it because it's the punch card that I'm going to use later. It was one of the very first things I did with that punch thing. But then I was the very first thing I did. And then the very last because I didn't order the sunflower when it first came out. But I have since gotten it. So I did this which is the new brass paper. So all of all of the cards I'm gonna show you, they already have a tutorial. So if you wanna see how I've done them, you can just go to the um, video page on YouTube, or you can find them on Facebook, the link to all of them. So this has the new brass paper and it's the sunflower dye, but you could also run it through just colored cardstock and put different colors back there. It was really just like doing a puzzle. Super easy, but that's the new brass. And then here it is again, and this is a little bit more of traditional color. And it is the ribbon that also comes in the suite as well. Super pretty, and that one's colored with blends. So that's the sunflowers. So then as you move through, the catalog, some of the fun things. I should have marked it with post-it notes instead of just looking at it. They'll have some shop the projects. And as you look at these, this is stuff that they've included, which I often do in my videos, where they've put something on a project that isn't part of the suite. Because I like to mix everything up. I like to, when I first get it, I often use it just as is, but then you start using stuff. So this has some um, things from the In Good Taste and the Gilded Gems, which are part of the ornate um, ornate gardens. Somebody's texting me. Oh, it's one of my camp people. I'll have to answer her when I get off. Then there's also, as you go through, a lot of the times they'll tell you the colors that they've used. So you don't have to look it up anyplace else. So this one happens to use all of the new in colors. And here's another suite that I've used. This was, this one's a lot of fun because it's good for men. So it's the world of good. It's also good for traveling. And I used a lot of window sheets because in the back of this catalog, you can now get adhesive sheets again, which make it a lot easier to adhere stuff to the window sheet because these things are now stickers. So if you don't know how to use the adhesive sheets, you might want to stick those on your order and then you can watch. Oh, I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them in a minute. So not on window sheet, just to show you how easy it is. So here's two of the cards made with this. These little embellishments are part of it. So you get the little corners that kind of make it look old fashioned. And it also comes with a little belt buckle. And the paper has the brass elements. And again, I didn't have the brass. Where is it at? This is the gold, our gold foil. And this is the brass. They're pretty much the same color, except the brass has a shinier fin, a way shinier finish. But I didn't have it because we couldn't get it at the beginning. But it didn't matter because the gold matches. Because everything that Stampin' Up! does coordinate so nicely that it didn't matter. So that's the world of good. And again, it has a, if you like all of it, you can just do the one order number. And you can see the brass here. I still have not really gone through the catalog and looked at the samples. Sometimes I think that I'm going to sit down and I'm going to look and I'm just going to look at the samples. And then about halfway through, I realize I'm not doing that anymore. Here's another one of the ones where it uh, uses, tells you a color palette. So I know a lot of people go through and they mark these because then if you sit down to stamp, you can go back through and the ones that you really like, you can flip through and see a color palette, especially if you don't have all the colors, you can mark the ones that work with the colors that you do have. So those are handy. Then you're going to see a lot of the new die, die cut machines. 
they're hoping they'll be available towards the end of summer, or early fallish, depending on COVID and shipping and, you know, life such as it is. It wasn't already going to be available when the catalog came out, but then, you know, the specialness that is life right now kind of got on top of it. Then this is one of the cards. I'll go ahead and do this demo now. This is a really fun set. And when you see it, did I leave the die here? You're going to notice this die because it's giant. So everybody, you know, when you see these sets, you're like, oh, that's a giant die. And that's pretty much all you notice. So you see it and you're like, that's one huge mungus die. I don't know if I'd ever use that, but we're not going to use it. I still haven't used this. Actually, it's my daughter's set. But this is the one that we're going to do. And I'm going to use the colors based on my shirt. And I'm going to use this adhesive. And this is adhesive that I had hoarded from when we had it before because I hated that we didn't have it. So I'm going to switch the colors. You may have already seen that I've done this card and I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit. So I've got black, cause like I said, this time I've based it totally off my shirt because sometimes you can copy other things. You don't have to copy, like you don't have to come up with colors. Just look at life around you. If you have a favorite shirt, you have a tablecloth, a towel in your kitchen, because a lot of times Stampin' Up's colors are really what's in style. So I've got just got my memento. And then here's the stamp set. It's got great words, really fun words. And I like the way that either you can do them both on the front or you can also do it inside outside because they fit with each other. So let's do... I didn't put the stickers on. So we're gonna be happy that there's two sides to the paper in case I don't stamp straight because I haven't used them yet. I'm gonna do the bottom one first. I'm using shimmery white. I'm gonna put this just down here. And it says, I'll read it after I get them both on. So I'm gonna do the congrats. And I chose this one because it didn't matter if it was straight. So we have ce celebrate, so happy for you, and also slightly jealous. I like when they're a little bit silly. And then I have my Rococo Rose to go with my colors that I chose. So I'm just going to take the brush tip of the dark and just kind of weave them through there and take the brush tip of my light. Go through that. And then I have the our shimmer paint and an empty wink of Stella. And this is the champagne mist. And it's almost the same color as what comes in a full Stella, but this is empty. And I just keep them for the brushes. So I'm just gonna brush it on lightly. I don't wanna cover up the words. On the other card that I did, and I'll show you in a second, it, I used the ones that had the fill in. So I was able to color those in and then painted this on. So just want a tiny little bit just to kind of add some shimmer to that. And then I picked the three colors of cardstock that match my shirt. And I'll show you the shirt after I'm done with the card. And then the three little dies that nobody's ever going to notice because they're just going to notice that whopping huge one that comes in there are these three here. So I've got my little piece of adhesive. So you just need, you always want to make sure your adhesive that you're using, especially when you're using it with your die cut machine is smaller than your piece because it doesn't need to cover the whole thing. And if it goes over, then it just makes one big hot mess. So we're just going to put these here. So what you're doing, I mean, you're really creating a sticker. So you just take these and you peel one piece off the back. And one side's sticky and one side's not. So the side that's not sticky, you get rid of that. You take the other one. And so now that's, that's a sticker. I'll do it to all three of these.
And again, you don't want it to go over because anything that you can, it's super sticky. So if it touches your plate or if it touches the paper, like it's going to stick to your, your die cut plate if it's overhanging. So you just need it in the middle. That's plenty to make it be a sticker. So if you don't have a catalog yet, like if you're watching this and you didn't get a catalog um, and nobody's sending you one, I know some people, I sent mine directly. Like I had Stampin' Up! send them to me. I got up at three o'clock in the morning the day that we could order and I had them sent to me. So I'd be first in line. I think that's um, and a benefit when you, if you grew up with a sister that's really close in age, you know, the competition thing. I'm like, yeah, I got to be first. <laughs> So I always get up super early the day that we can order catalogs and I just have them sent to me because I like to be able to send them back out to people. And then I know that they're coming and I can add stuff to them. So everybody that ordered, like got them from me, you already have them. If you're a demonstrator, if you didn't get it from me and she had them sent from Stampin' Up, there's, I know some of them are still coming because it took longer to go that kind of mail, commercial mail than what ours did. So I'm just going to lay these on here. You don't want them to go through speed bump, which if you don't know what speed bump is, that's this way. That's really bad for these dies and it will break them. So put them on. So they're just going to, I'll go at an angle. And because I know that the adhesives right in the middle, I'm just aiming for the middle. These were just scrap pieces that of colored cardstock that were left from when I stuck them in my catalogs. So they're not necessarily cut to size. If you do them speed bump, it makes that horrible clunky noise. And you don't want a horrible clunky noise. You want it to go through nice and smooth. And it just takes one pass. And then just take your little rolly. And then because it's got this sticker, it sometimes has that like little piece of gum. See where the gum didn't cut? I mean, it's cut, but it's just sticky. I could have rolled a little bit harder on that. But it was just one cut. You don't need to go a bunch of times to get it through. That one didn't even. This one doesn't even need the little rolly. They almost all fell out. And it's cutting through a piece of cardstock, the sticker sheet, and then the sticker backing. So if you're using these and all you're cutting through is one piece of cardstock, then they fall right out. This has a tiny bit more that it's cutting through. And then this one, well, I was going to try to keep it in there because it's got these tiny little every other hole pops out. I found it was a little bit easier if you could hold it in there to get it to roll these through but you can see how e easy those were to roll through just one roll and it did it and then you can see on the other side that it's got the the sticker so now we just need to go back to our card and I ordered the new adhesive I can't wait to get it to tomorrow Although, you know, those of us that got tons of the fuse when it was on sale, I'm, well, I am actually getting kind of close. At one point in time, I thought I may never run out. Now I'm going to put three of these on. So anytime you're going to work with three, start with your middle one first. And I'm going to do the middle. So as you can see, I just pulled the sticker backing off. So start with your middle piece. That way you can do the other two around it. And you don't run out of room. So this one's kind of in the middle of where the edge is. So there's that one. And then I'm going to put the rose one the furthest away from my rose color. And then you can see back here because I didn't go the whole length that there's always that nice little piece here that you can lift up on. Hi, Chris. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Jane. More people are joining from YouTube. If you're just watching, I have Facebook and YouTube going at the same time. So I have um, my laptop has my YouTube comments and it's sitting over on a stool next to me. And Facebook then is on my iPad. So it's up where it can see it a little bit better. 
So if you don't have a catalog, I started to say that, then let me know and I can send you one if somebody has. I mean, if you don't have one just because you haven't gotten one yet for your, from your demonstrator, then don't because it's coming and they're they're starting to arrive. But if nobody has sent you one yet, then let me know and I'd be happy to send you one. And if you don't have somebody that you're ordering from, you can always order online. You don't have to wait to have a catalog because, you know, it is the year 2020, which it's kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. Um <laughs> At this point in the year 2020. Um, but I have lots of specials. So you can go to my Facebook page and see them. Now I want to show you. Ooh, where's my mouse? Here we go. I told you I based this off the colors of my shirt. So let's go back where you can see my shirt. Come on. There you go. So see, I did black card. And then I just chose the colors from my shirt. So super easy when you make those sticker things. If you have these, I mean, you can use the green glue on them, which is probably the easiest way to get them to be held on, but it's a little bit messy. The adhesive sheets, and you'll find them in the back of the catalog. I'll show you in a minute when we, when we go back to the catalog, but makes it so much easier to put that stuff on there. And then here's the one that is already on YouTube. And it has um, a window sheet that I stuck this stuff to. It just makes it a little bit fancier. And then I use the new brass next to the gold. So you can see that they're the same under color. The brass is just shinier. And then the champagne. So that's not inspired by your shirt. But it was inspired because I had the stuff from my sunflower card sitting on the, the table. So that's that sweet. So let's go back and get some more from our, if you like the shirt, it's Old Navy and it's, mm, I don't think this one's on clearance. My daughter works there. She's getting her master's in counseling for school. So she can't, she's a teacher, but you can't teach in getting your master's in counseling at the same time because you have to also work at the school. Um, so she's a manager at Old Navy. So lots of my clothes are from Old Navy now, but they're having a great sale right now. I got a ton of shirts. Actually, there was one that had the Eiffel Tower with the cherry blossoms because a lot of times their stuff looks like our stamps. It was $3. I think this one, it's not on clearance, but I think it was like maybe six on sale. So, you know, you can get a, a shirt to match your, go back over to my catalog, my computer. My husband bought me the world's largest monitor for him. Well, he bought it for me so he could play computer games. Come on. So I can see it from across the room, but it's clear across my office. So let's go back to this. So this, the one I just used was Mini Mates. It's not any kind of a super sweet. It's just a bundle. But it has the, it does have the great words. And then those, the three, I mean, look, they don't even have them. They're so itsy beatsy tiny right here that you would never notice the three pieces that I used. But you could put those on lots of cards. Those little, like you could just have them there. And once you have the sticker paper, you can just run them through tiny little bits of scrap paper because you can see they're super tiny. I don't even know where, I, oh, here. I mean, this one right here is, that can use up all of your little itsy bitsy scraps of paper. So if you're somebody that doesn't like to waste them and then you can have stickers. In fact, if you are one of the people that's in my triad class, one of some of the pieces that you're going to get for your card will be one of these and they will be stickers. So that's that one. Then this is coming in my stuff that will be here tomorrow. So if you have noticed our zoo safari class, this is one of them. So let's look at this hippo happiness and look at the fun colors they chose. And I know some of you are like, well, I don't make cards for kids. So I probably wouldn't want this. But don't do that because if you look down here, itsy bitsy tiny, here is the, the die set. So it's on page 176 because the dies that go with this are one of the ones. They're a little bit like the tasteful labels. Look at these fun dies. So it does cut out the hippo and the unicorn and the butterfly. But then look at how much fun all these giant labels are that you get. And you get the the little things that will make the paper slits for you and the little confetti things. 
So this isn't going to be in our class. Look how cute this card is. So you might not make very many kids cards, but there's lots of adults that would like these fun cards. So that is the um, Hippo Happiness, and it's part of our zoo class. And then here is the Blossoms in Bloom, and that ended up being one of my favorite bundles that I worked with. And again, it's just a bundle. It's not part of any suite. And these are all already up on YouTube. This one. So we did a Facebook Live group event. And the full intent for this card was that I was going to make it. And I intended to color all of these really quickly, the flowers with some blends. But I wanted to do four cards in an hour, in my hour. And I thought, if I color this, it's going to take a really long time. So I wonder what it will look like if I just lay a piece of white on white. And it ended up, it was beautiful. I really liked it like this. And then I ran it through the... Um, yeah, my friends are texting me. Um, I ran it through the embossing folders. And it, oh, it's a really, really pretty effect. Now my daughter's calling me, even though I told her. Hopefully, hopefully I come back. Okay, so, you know, all of the people needing me, I've got lots of people texting, but that's, it ended up that it was a card kind of a, of laziness, but it ended up that it's one of my, the ones that I made. So sometimes cards just happen by accident. And then this one here, woo, camera angle, uh, I did with the Stamparatus so I could layer some colors on and I did it with full pads. You can do ink spots if you have them. This one I just did with full pads. And then this second piece right here is the outline. It comes with two different dies. Again, giant dies. They're really into the giant dies in this catalog. Hi, Deborah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> So this one I did, and again, I ran it through. It's on textured. No, it's on watercolor cardstock, I think. All of them have um, tutorials up. This one is done with watercolor pencils. Now I also have a helper. So I did it once this way, and I left the card whole. This way I did it, and I cut them in half. So I got two cards out of it. So that's the Blossoms in Bloom. And you will love this one. If you don't have a die cut machine, you can just get the stamps. But if you do have the die cut machine, it's a very inexpensive bundle. And you will love it. So that's that one. Come on, bubs. Hop down. Come on. Hop down. I was... <laughs> Nothing like trying to show you the catalog and having a cat on top of my catalog. Then another one that's part of our zoo class that I can't wait to get is this one here, the zoo globe. And if you got the snow globe when it came out, come on, Bubby, um, then this will go with the snow globe. So you already have the dies. You won't have to repurchase them. If you didn't get them, then you can get the dies again. And they're in, back in the catalog. But this one, look, it has a koala, which you know, and a kangaroo. So when you're half Aussie in your family, then that is a must have. So definitely getting that but it, this is also part of our zoo safari class and this one i think i will be doing i don't know because mm, you're gonna see this one's probably gonna make an appearance in a tutorial next week i am trying trying to decide what to start with first here's the snow globe i think you can still see i don't think he's blocking all of the view but here's the snow globe hey suzanne for those of you that are just joining, I have YouTube and Facebook going at the same time. So I'm trying to keep up with comments on both of them. And then here's the Ornate Garden, which some people have probably forgotten about. 
because it was a pre-special release back in April. So you have seen a couple of cards on my tutorial. And this one, hopefully you got the Glimmer paper because it was on the last chance list. I didn't know it was going to be on the last chance list when I made the card. But the paper is really, really pretty. And this is a really pretty, the, the dies on this set are all really gorgeous. Which I managed to cram a lot of them on this card when I made it because it's one of these. And for one of the two cards with the either the hippo card or the zoo card, I'm going to do this. And then here's just a little smaller version. And again, these cards were part of the last chance thing. And then this one, I am going to be doing this card. I did this where I used this, the dies as stencils, and then it kind of like took off. It became its own thing. And I saw lots of people doing that. And I fully intend to do this with Blossoms and Bloom. And it had been on my things to do, but there were so many things in the pre-order that were so much fun. Like it was one of the things I intended to do before I got the pre-order and then it just never happened. So it's still on my list and I still hope to do it, but that is Ornate Garden. So don't forget that it's there. Then this little set right here is really cute. I have, when I do my list, I've got like, get it now and then kind of ones that work themselves down and that one is on sometime in the future this one was on that same thing it comes with a really cute little postage stamp and then I think I did end up getting it same with this one I'm at, when I put my order in like I'm not sure how much it's going to come to and then how much I get free and so I have that whole little stack of if I can get it free I get this so I'm not sure if I got the peonies yet or not. It's beautiful. This paper is beautiful. The ribbon's beautiful. It's got these square vellum. But look how pretty this gray satin ribbon is. So pretty. And a bunch of stuff that I already have. This is a really pretty one. And then this one, both of these, I think I, think I got this one. I know I got this one. This one is a coffee, chocolate, cocktails, all kinds of fun stuff in the, in this set. And I'm going to really like playing with the dyes in this one. I'm going to like all of it, but the dyes are super fun. And then here's Whale Lovers. This is also makes an appearance in our Try It class. As does this paper. Super fun. Some really fun ways they mix the colors together. And then I know a lot of you kept hearing me say, I need the goats. I need the goats. Here's the goats. I just, I think they're super cute. I'm going to love coloring them in with the blends. I like the, the sayings. I like, I got you a cake, but I ate it. And I like, um, happy birthday, you old goat. I just think it's a really cute set. And I like when we have really inexpensive sets for starter stampers. The same with the zany zebras. It's a cute set. And then here is the Forever Greenery. And I do have a card that I'm going to show you to make it. I think I'm going to go ahead and push it to the um, second vid live I'm going to do today. Because those cards don't, that card doesn't take as long. And I'm only going to show you the beginner brochure. So I'm going to show you those cards a little bit later. You can go make some coffee and then I'll join you back. But I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the rest of this. So in good taste. You will definitely want to see this paper packet. You get a ton of really nice neutral paper. And here are the cards that I did with it. But the thing that's a must have if you don't get the paper is the folder. This is the folder that you've seen me use over and over and over again in a ton of my videos. It is a little bit like the subtle folder has been my folder of my go to folder of choice. But now this one is just. Like it's a step up from the settle folder. It's just a little bit more. I need to retape that. So these are some cards that I've made. It's a perfect collage card. Collage was all the rage when Stampin' Up! was new. Way back when, when I started 25 years ago. Because we didn't have all the things. And so the stamps can do all the things. They can make your card be beautiful, just the stamps and ink. So now with the stamps and the inks, and this is another die set that you're going to like. Because it's just fun dies. So then when we get back here to the paper, oh, and I have this one coming too. So it, I don't know. Every time I look, I'm like, this will be the one I use first. And then I see another one. I'm like, no, that's going to be the one I use first. So if you see some of the ones that I've said I've gotten, and there's one you want to see me demo or do some tutorials with first, then tell me, look how happy this is. This is just a, a page of happiness. 
and the stamps are just pretty. And then this, I don't remember if I got it. It is also because, you know, I love mushrooms. And this little hedgehog guy, he's just, he's happy. It was on that list of um, if I can get it free, which I couldn't get everything free. So I know not everything. And then the camo, because if you watch me, you know, I love to wear a camo. So, and then here, this year, if you want blends, you're going to find them here on the page with all of the colors, which is not anything new, really, because if you've ever needed an ink pad, if you needed an ink refill, if you needed card stock, you always came to this page. So now they've just added the blends. So the new colors of blends you can find here with the little ends, which are all of the in colors and then melon mambo. And don't forget that you can get all of the in color stamp pads in a set and they're a little bit cheaper. And then another thing that I'm super excited to get are the water painters because, you know, I love using aqua painters and these are a new way to use aqua painters. They're cheaper, which is always a good thing. You get three of them, so they're cheaper and you get one more. But one of them is a really fat tip like super fat, more like a paintbrush, and then finer and then more traditional what we're used to. Here's all the beautiful papers. So if you're in my try it class, you're going to get a card with all of those. We have some rainbow glimmer paper and some velveteen paper. And then when you come back here this year and some fabulous ribbons, I can't wait to get this one right here. Oh, and then here on page... 162 is where you'll find those adhesive sheets that everybody's going to want to get. You're going to want to get those because they just make your life so much easier when you're working with a lot of those more intricate dyes. But this year, when you look at both the punches and the dyes, you will see all of the bundles that come bundled as a discount, which is really nice that they put them all here together. So here's where the jar is. Here's the postage one that I got. Even some of the ones that have been in before, like we've had the tulips before, but you're still getting a discount. Here's the hearts with a new, a new set. And then the same with all of the dies. Like you can come over here. And then anything that's, if you're going to, if you already have a big shot and you're going to want just a little mini thing, because who doesn't need a little mini die cut machine? Everybody needs a baby one. Anything that will fit in the mini one, everything will fit in the big one. But if it fits in the mini, it will say mini. But here's all of the die bundles. So it gives you another sample. It tells you again what page the stamp sets on so you have another look at it. And then all of the dies that are no longer part of a bundle. That's a discount you can see here, but it does tell you the stamp sets that they match to. So then back here in the back again, you're gonna see the host thing. And remember if your order is over 250 this month, you get an additional $25 in free stuff. For June. And today I have specials. If you order over a hundred dollars, I'm giving you additional $15 in free stuff. And you also get some other additional freebies and you can find those on my Facebook. So that's all I have for you for right now. I'm going to go see what my daughter so desperately needs. If I can, where's my mouse? This would have been easier to do. Well, maybe I'm not going to find there. She, there it is. I thought maybe I can find my face. Come on. Um, go see what she desperately needs me for because she keeps calling. She must be on her lunch hour. Um, so I will be back. If you need a catalog, if you have any ordering questions, then give me um, an email. It's You can find my email. I've had several people in the last day ask how they can email me. And I hate to put it on YouTube because then as soon as I put it on YouTube, then I get a bunch of spammers, both on Facebook and on my website. If you join my email list, then that gets you on my email list. But I know it doesn't help you contact me right away on my blog, you can leave a comment and that gives me your email and then I can email you or um, there's a contact me form on it, but it's just my name, C-H-E-R-I at Gmail and that gets, gets you to me. So it's, oh, actually it's Sherry S-T at Gmail or it's my business one is Sherry at stampinonline.com. So you can email me that way or on Facebook, you can go over there and you can message me and that works too. So um, that's what I have for now. I will be back in an hour or two and I'll walk through the beginner brochure and I'll show you the other two cards. So that's what I have for now. Everybody have a happy new catalog day and I'll see you back in a little bit. Bye. I gotta stand up and go all the way across the room to turn off my computer. Bye.